Today we're going to tell a story that you've probably heard bits and pieces of on streams and other videos, but never collected all in one place all at one time. My Dragoon Lovely Experience. So for those of you that have never been here before, I'm Hunt for Games and I've played Final Fantasy XI for almost its entire US existence as a tiny Tartaru that came from Winder. So Dragoon doesn't exactly fit into that perfectly. But ever since I bought the Brady Games Guide, I first saw Dragoon in-game. They've got this awesome, like, amazing pictures of the Wyvern, it's always with you. I just was fascinated by, by that idea. I think it's after I got Summoner. And I got someone up to like 35, 40, and I was like, wait, what if my pet was always out? It was always with me. And eventually, Carbuncle kind of became that, but it still felt different. I was just so infatuated with the idea. It seemed like such an amazingly fun job that jumping was so cool in a game where your feet never left the ground and every fight, you're jumping. Leading to me deciding that I definitely 100% wanted to play Dragoon. Now, I'd only played mage jumps. I started as a black mage, I got that to 30. I guess I leveled white mage somewhere in there to like 37. It was the worst experience ever. Point being, I, I didn't have any melee subs ready to support this Dragoon. I think I got warrior up to nine and I couldn't stand it because warrior as a Tarutaru from one to 10 is is rough. It's a rough experience, but I, I made it, I got it to nine. And then I was like, this is as far as I can go. I need to get Dragoon or I'm never gonna make it. I, I need to see if Dragoon is as cool as it seems. So, you know, I, I made my way over to Sandori to start this long, involved, amazing quest. One of my favorite quests in Final Fantasy XI. To, that, to this day, I actually forget most of the story. I just, I remember you have, you find the egg and it's like the last wyvern egg ever. Nobody thinks it can hatch. And of course you amazingly get it to hatch. You're fighting an evil dragoon. There's all sorts of stuff that I totally forget. I really should replay that. I really want to, I want to learn that story again. Cause I remember just loving it so much. And I, to this day, I consider it one of my favorite quests, which is hilarious. Cause I couldn't tell you all the details if my life depended on it. But I, you know, made it through the quest, was so thrilled. Run out into, I guess, I don't know, West Ronfru to, to try out Dragoon. I killed like two things. I was so thrilled. It was such a cool, like summoning the Wyvern was the coolest thing ever because it was the two hour. And no other job had anything like that where your two hour was a part, a functioning part of the job at all times. You needed to use it to be at your full strength. And it was a key fundamental part of how Dragoon worked. The ideas of how Mage Sub interacted with Dragoon was fascinating that if I was below 33% HP, I could cast a cure or a dia, any spell, and it would trigger a healing breath from the wyvern, but only if I had a mage sub, and if I had a melee sub, it would do an, an attack breath when I weapon skilled. That was such a cool concept. And it seems so silly now because it's like, like not the most crazy mechanic, but there were few jobs that interacted with their sub job so critically as Dragoon did. So anyways, I, I earned Dragoon, I was all excited, but I always like, I leveled up my low level jobs in Winter. So it was one of my favorite places to level. I did a few in uh, in Gustaberg occasionally from, you know, sneaking out of Bastok, but for the most part, it was always Winter. So I just, I was from Windy, I, I felt comfortable at peace in Windy. That was a mistake because I took my Dragoon out. I think it was level five, went to kill some things. Of course, attacked a crawler, which I easily killed but not before it poisoned breath both of us. And I just had to watch as my wyverns just summoned HP slowly whittled down to zero with absolutely nothing I could do. Spirit Link didn't cure status ailments at the time. There was there was no help for it. I don't even think I had Spirit Link yet. I was like level five. Wyvern dies. And I uh, I think I stopped playing Dragoon for like two months. I was so, I was so pissed. I was like, this sucks. I wanted to play Dragoon today. I can't summon another Wyvern for two hours. I, I'm done. Like, I'm done for the day. This this ruined the whole chances of enjoying my brand new Dragoon job. This beautiful, amazing Wyvern who sucks and dies from the first poison breath that, uh, was it poison? Is it poison breath? It's like poison spread or something. I don't know. Regardless. Poison spray? Poison... <laughs> what is the crawler poison... Poison Blast, uh, that's definitely not it. Anyways, so I stopped playing. I stopped playing for like two months. At some point, I must have gotten Warrior to 30, 37, maybe for Thief. 
because I didn't I didn't touch Dragoon for a while. I think I got Thief all the way up to 55, 70. It might have been my first 75 because we joke all the time that my summoner was stuck at 73 for forever. And I think Thief might have like at the last second just leapfrogged it to 75. And then eventually I get back to Dragoon. I'm like, no, it's time I give Dragoon another chance. And I played it straight through to 75. I had an absolute blast with it. It's, it's one of my favorite jobs. I loved soloing with it against Calibri. So I guess, yeah, that must have been when I was when I was leveling it because Otter Gone was out. I was out doing Calibri in the... I mean, I was like 60 fighting like the 55 Calibri. Yeah, yeah. It was the Otter Gone period that I leveled Dragoon all the way up to the 75. And it was just such a cool job. I would do so many unique things. And I always wished that I'd maybe done Dragoon a little bit earlier so I could have explored Vanadil more often as a Dragoon. Because I think running around as Dragoon sub white mage is like one of the coolest ways to explore Vanadil. But if I had a 75 summoner, a 75 thief that were well geared, I almost never did that, which was just kind of a bummer. But I mean, the the milestones of that job, earning Penta Thrust, which I think I got down in the basement of Garlic Citadel. So whenever that was still a viable camp, yeah, it was like 49, 50, something like that. That was, uh, the first Pentathrust is like an amazing moment. And I know it's different from what it was when the game first came out and you got like 60 TP back from doing a Pentathrust. But still, the damage that I'd been doing with, what was it, uh, Double Thrust was like still the most amazing weapon skill. <laughs> Could open Distortion and Paralyze and stuff. No, it doesn't. Does it? No, that's Blade Red too. What am I talking about? Anyways. I don't know. I just, it's one of those stories that there was no real point to it. I, I don't know what your experience with leveling certain jobs was, but each of my jobs, I have a very unique memory of how the leveling experience went. And for Dragoon, it was just this constant balance of like this love hate relationship of it is so cool, it is so unique, and me being so frustrated when the Wyvern would die. Which may be, I would love to know when that patch came out that changed it to a 20 minute timer. That might be when I started to go back, because I was like, okay, perfect. My only flaw with the job has been has been corrected. I don't know. It might have been slightly before that. I feel like I still had to deal with, at least up into the 50s, having the two-hour wiver. I, I definitely remember that being a problem. But my only regret is we had this whole plan. Part of the reason I was leveling it, I think I started right before Otterion came out, because Hayden was a Dark Knight doing these crazy sneak attack spinning slashes in Bibiki Bay. And I was like, oh man, if I was Dragoon, I could open with an amazing wheeling thrust. Dragoon and Dark Knight are a perfect pair for opening and closing skill chains. Like I earn TP quickly and, and I'll always be ready to open whenever you have TP to close this amazing big light skill chain with sneak attack spinning slash. And like that was the whole plan. And then of course Otter Gun came out and skill chains kind of died and I was like, oh, I guess I'll never use Willing Thrust. I remember using Willing Thrust when I first got it against uh, those Aruka, the Date Aruka in Bafflown Thickets, I think it is. And I was like so let down. I was like, I, okay, you don't have a strength setup. Heard the damage isn't great. Let's let's fire one off, see how it does. And it did like 500. And I think my pen and thrust were doing like 800, 900 at the time. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay, because it's one of the coolest weapon skills of the original 75 era, in my opinion. The, like, you know, twirl, huge thrust, big explosion of light. Awesome. Awesome weapon skill. Doesn't do that much. <laughs> I think they improved it now. Now it's actually a little bit better. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you want to hear more stories like this? Where I just kind of go through a little bit about the unique leveling experience, the challenges I ran into, things that I did, the reasons I played certain jobs. Do you want me to go into more detail? Less detail? right amount of detail because the more I think about it the more stuff I start to remember I remember fighting flies in in uh, the Boyata tree as Dragoon Blue and I would get like chain three and then I would die and ruin the whole thing but it was a great time while I was trying to figure out if it was a viable method of, of earning experience points and merit points I will say though, everything in between like level 20 and like 45 is a huge blur. I have no idea when I leveled it. I don't know what happened. I'm assuming it went well. I think I got frustrated by Wiffer dying a lot. And that's basically all I got. But 
seriously, one of the most amazing jobs in terms of how the story of you earning the job pairs into the mechanics of the job with the wyvern itself. The crazy idea that Square Enix had to make it the two hour, totally unique, different approach to your two hour and summoning a pet. And it made it feel like it was, it wasn't a pet in the way that Beastmaster and Summoner had pets. Beastmaster and Summoner had temporary support. And in the case of Summoner and, you know, with, with Jug Pets, they may be around for as long as you're not sitting or moving or doing anything, but Dragoon's pet was a companion that was always with you. It was a different style and it it was awesome. It was super awesome. But like I was saying, let me know what you think. I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. Did you like Dragoon? Did you hate Dragoon? I think it got a bad rap sometimes. Other times it, it did amazingly well in terms of damage output. <laughs> but it does die a lot. If you wanna hear more stories like this, let me know in the comments. Check us out on Tuesdays and Thursdays on Twitch. We stream live every week, usually some Final Fantasy XI, although we have been branching out a little bit. Uh, I'm thinking 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the foreseeable future. I'm moving, which is great, but lots of packing and like that extra hour helps so much. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a good one. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more videos like this, think about subscribing. And if you already have, don't forget to click that little bell next to the sub button to get notified when new videos go live. Hit me up in the comments with your thoughts on this video, or come hang out and chat with me on Twitch every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And definitely look me up on Twitter or Instagram and hunt for games to keep up with what else I've got going on. See ya!